Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft Survival Let's Play series. It's been a little while. Um, I have done a bunch of work off camera, which I'm going to actually show you. Um, and that is also why it has taken me so long, because I have been preparing for stuff. But today's episode is probably going to be a more chill and relaxing one. But let me show you first of all some of the work that I have done. Basically, I made a huge mob grinder, spawner, platform thingy thing that when they spawn, they get pushed down with some water and then you kill them and get a bunch of XP. And I have basically been doing that and using a bunch of books. So now if you take a look at this pickaxe, it now has efficiency 4, fortune 3, unbreaking 3. My diamond sword is OP. Not as OP as it could be, but it's pretty good. See, I 5, knockback 2, looting 2, unbreaking 3, sweeping edge 3. I want looting 3, but I mean, it's coming. Um, the bow has unbreaking 3, power 5, and flame, I was about to say 4. Um, and then our armor here, which is probably the most incredible. So the helmet has protected 4, respiration 3, unbreaking 3, and aqua affinity. The chest plate, chest plate has unbreaking 4, sorry, unbreaking 3, protected 4, thorns 2. Um, and the leggings, you can see there, and the boots, thank you. Blast protection 4. It could have been protection, but it's fine. Death Strider, Unbreaking, and Feather Falling. And I'm actually going to equip that instead. Now, I do want mending on this armor, but that is actually related to what we will be doing today. Um, I have also been out exploring, and I got a bunch of meat and food and stuff, but I also found some sweet berries. And we will go up there and actually um, plant those real quick. Oh, it's night time. Oh, well. Um, I made a little extra fence here, and I'm thinking that we will remove this bit right here because I don't have any more birch wood. I guess I could have taken those some, but it's fine. Um, and then plant these guys right there. Yep, that, you know what? That works. I don't need that many. I don't know what we'll use them for, but now we have them in our farm. I probably need to redo this farm area, to be honest. Not redo, but give it a... Um, give, oh, I guess I'm down here now. Um... Yeah, shine it up a bit, like this terracotta and stuff needs to needs to get fixed, so yeah. I need to do that, but let's talk about what we're going to do in this episode. Um, we won't do it right away because I do want to show you the map grinder, so let us actually hit... Eh, let's sleep first. Let us sleep first. Um, there we go. So I do want to show you my map grinder, and then after that, my plan... For today's episode, I'll just say this while we're on the run. So, I will be showing you the map rider. I said that four or five times now. And, ah! And then after that, we will actually be doing some villager stuff. Because I haven't really done anything with villagers in the series at all. So, well, I did find three of them and then I fenced them in to protect them and such. But after the 1.14 update, I haven't really done anything with them. And I do want mending on my armor, and for that I want to get a mending villager. I have 26 emeralds, I can probably get more if I have the right villagers. But the villagers, the villagers don't have any, or the villagers, I don't know, don't have any, um, don't have any jobs. They don't have any of these blocks in them, so the villagers don't have any jobs in the village. Um, ah, word trickiness. But that is basically what we will be doing today. There is a village very close to home. We will be going over there and then we will give them some jobs basically and see what they got to offer. So yeah, I just want to do that and potentially that will then, well, maybe make the village grow as well because I will be adding beds as well, which is why I have the white wool. And I have a stack of dark oak planks so I can make doors. Also, I captured that turtle and put it in a boat. I don't know what to do with it yet, but um, yeah, probably set it free here on the beach. But let me show you. I made this thing way out here. Okay, a little bit of a backstory. I actually made it right in front of the base, but because of caves and other stuff nearby, it just didn't work very well when I used it. But there it is right there. Also, I made it out of all the terracotta that I had gathered over the, over the past... Um, over the series and I gotta say I'm quite happy with the result to be honest I do need to replace the cobblestone there with the redstone stuff but um other than that I'm actually really happy with the result so yeah I'm really happy about this thing so let me show mouth grinder thingy 1000 so in here I actually moved let's just uh, turn that down because they're gonna be dropping um, 
I moved my enchantment area from our base actually over here, so it's now here and I can get level 30 enchants. I put the grindstone over here because what you can actually do now, I gotta be careful not to do something stupid, is you can take the enchantment of a thing and then you actually get the XP in return, so that is pretty cool, or some of it anyway. Here's my lapis and some books and multi shot and swimming edge 2 in there, my anvil, and look at all this stuff. Like, look at it. Okay, also, this is a trap chest, which is why those doors are open. But look at all this stuff. Arrows and gunpowders and bones and old bows for days. Actually, give me that. <laughs> That's not supposed to be there. But look at this stuff. Look at all of that. That is insane. So, yeah, I've been sitting here doing quite a, quite a bit of work. So, yeah. And then I just get up here. And then I stand here, wait for them to spawn and kill them. And fun fact, right now my render distance is 16. If I put it down to 2 and then re reload the world, they drop like crazy, almost instantly. Also, something happened weird here, where I would come back to the screen and these blocks would be broken. I don't know why also that. I don't know what happened. Doubt it was a creeper explosion, because then... Well... Yeah, more of this stuff should be ruined, I guess. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, let us now get back to base and yeah, let us take a look at those villagers. Actually, there's one more thing I need to show you if I can find it again back at base. So I'll meet you there. All right. So here we are at the place where I made the mob grinder before I actually moved it way over there. And there's something I want to show you. You can clearly see that I tried literally lighting this area up. Um, but let me show you something I found. I do believe it is in this general direction, maybe? I did find something down here, you see. Oh, that's a zombie. Uh, one moment. Let me see if I can find it. Yep, yep. Watch this. A skeleton... Wait, is that a skeleton spawner? Oh, I didn't even realize this was a skeleton spawner. I thought this was a zombie spawner, I think. Um, but yeah, I found, I actually found two dungeons. So one skeleton dungeon and another spider dungeon somewhere. I'm pretty sure I saved all the coordinates. But, um, I didn't actually loot this chest because I thought we would do it on camera. So let's do that. Uh, got some gunpowder. Wheat. We got a riptide book. That's not bad. A bucket. I'll take that. A golden apple. Definitely I'll take that. And horse armor. Cool. That. Cool. And let me get these chests. And we will probably turn this spawner into a, um into another mob grinder thingy thing, I think. All right, let me get back to base, clear up my inventory, make sure that I have everything on me, and we will go to the village and have some fun. Also, I need to make a staircase that goes down here because I come this way so often, and it's so annoying having to walk all the way behind here to the staircase. Yep, that's another future project, either off camera or on camera. I, I don't know, probably off camera, I don't know. <laughs> All right, we are here at the village. Now, before I say anything else, I'm actually recording this on a way different day than the previous clips that you just saw. Um, has it been weeks? It might even have been weeks or just a week. I'm not sure. But anyways, basically what happened was I actually recorded more than that that day. And basically I was, I was just not happy with the result. I was... I didn't know what I was doing, I had no idea what I was doing or anything, and it just felt kinda empty, so I decided to redo it, I had a backup of the world, so yeah, we're, we're starting over, we're starting fresh, energized, and I'm ready to do this. So let me show you the village. If you don't remember this village, we found this, and our base is like right over that hill. Um, there is the savanna, and I believe it is that hill that is ours. Not 100% sure, but I think that is the one. So it is right around the corner, very easy to get to and very nice when it's about trading. So basically what you saw in my inventory in the previous clips won't be exactly the same. Yeah, I'm way more prepared now. <laughs> so hopefully this will go a lot better. Also, I think I know what I'm going to do to, form to, the, to make this work and I cannot talk. 
anyways also i have no sleep and i have not slept at all so yeah i am probably tired but that's fine that will make things interesting also i'm using my other keyboard so let me know down in the comments if it's distracting or annoying or too loud because if it's not that i really love this keyboard and i would love to use that for videos so yeah let me know what you think anyways let us get started i placed down a bit here i'm actually going to remove that because the villagers swarm to it at night and I don't want that so yes anyways here are all the villagers now the ones that can actually have a job are the ones with the brown robes there the other ones with the green ones cannot have jobs now I did not think of that before so I didn't understand why it wasn't working very well but the reason is because these guys just don't yeah you you guys you guys don't know what to do stuff okay you, you can't get a job, you're not good enough. <laughs> that sounds so mean. But anyways, let us get to renovating this place just a little bit. And by renovating, not going to do much. Basically just adding a bunch of doors and bits. So that is why I have a bunch of wool here to make some bits and a bunch of wood as well. So let us get right to it. I think we are going to start off with the... Actually, no. Let us start off with the doors. Those can at least be stacked. 13 hopefully will be enough for now. So let's just jump around the village here, making sure that all the houses have a door in them. So there will be a couple of them that doesn't. I probably even made too many doors, but I mean, it's fine because I am thinking of making some extra small houses here and there. Um, what's that all? Did I really make all those doors for nothing? I apparently made all those doors for nothing. Okay, sweet, cool. I'm gonna make a chest. <laughs> um, but yes, that is why I actually have so much wood with me, so we can actually make some extra houses for these guys. Because we will need it. Um, but let me just empty my inventory over here, so we have some stuff to work with. Also give me that. Um, give me that wool back. So I'm going to make a bunch of bits. Because basically, our goal is to give every villager here a bit. And there are a lot of these green guys and not that many houses. So we might be able to put more than one bed in one house. I'm not sure if that will work. I'm hoping it will. So I think we'll try that first. So like this one can have like, I don't know, five beds or so um, to hold more. Maybe. I have no idea if that will work. But if not, well, then we'll just do some, do some more stuff. So yeah, let me make some beds here. So do that. Do that, Kasmeka. Is that doable? No, it's not. Of course it's not. Of course it's not. Okay, like that. And actually, we could try and count these guys to see how many villagers there actually is in this um, village. We can try. So that's one, two, three. I don't know how that guy got up there. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, 15 villagers. So we need 15 bits. So that is 9. We need 15 bits in total. If I have counted correctly. So that is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Cool. So that is 6 more bits. There we go. So now we just gotta place these down in these different rooms. So get one down there. And these guys will automatically, when it becomes night time, go to a house and claim a bit. And that is then where they will sleep and where they will um, also go to if a town bell is, is rung, I'm pretty sure. And also where they will run off to if a raid happens. So yeah, that is nice. Okay, so I'm currently just placing one bed in each house for now. I'm not using these because they're not really... Um, they're not really meant for bits. So I'm using these small ones first, one bit at a time, and then once we're out of room, we'll get to these bigger ones. And I should have done a better job of lighting this place up when I was at that stage, when we made all these fences around here. Uh, that does not have a bit in it yet. Okay. And once we have placed all the bits, we'll be able to place some workstations around here. Okay, let me actually get that crafting table with me. That is a bit annoying. Now, there is only five villagers in this village that can actually have jobs. So, I have 
selected from the list from the wiki 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 i don't i don't know <laughs> but i have chosen the jobs that i wanted the most for these guys to have and then when they breed if they breed we will be able to give those guys other jobs as well so i have two more bits here i don't know where to place these so i'm thinking maybe making maybe start making some smaller houses down here you know one one against one here by the window because why not so let me just place this down here i believe it was and hopefully it will turn nighttime soon oh well guess what i'm taking that other one back <laughs> found this other one that didn't have anything in it there we go cool so let me get this down here and we'll get to look at the jobs. So let me put one there. Actually, let's put these by the window. They they get a they get a window view, right? Right? All right. Ah, it's turning nighttime. Perfect. Okay, so let me take a look at the job possibilities we have here, and hopefully these guys over time will all find a home. Okay, let's put that in there. We're done with the wood for now. Let us move this down here. This is just building supplies that I took with me. So let's put that down there. This is irrelevant for us. Okay, why did I bring... I don't know why I brought two compasses. I know I wanted... Let me just find my document here. Okay, so that is what I intended to have. These five here. That'll be five jobs. This one, I think I just grabbed with me. Okay, so I have no idea if these guys will actually go to sleep. I think some of them will. I don't... Okay, let's get that guy down from there. Because I don't think he's meant to be here. There we go. He is now down. I don't know how he got up there, to be honest. Okay. Guys, you have houses for a reason. Go sleep in them. <laughs> okay, let us grab these. So, let's take a look at them. So, the composter will basically make a farmer villager. A cartography table. Do they have a village in here? Nope. Okay, cool. Uh, the cartography table will make a cartographer. <laughs> the brewing stand will make a cleric, and the lectern will make a librarian. I want the librarian, and hope that I will get a mending book, hopefully, um, so I can use it on my armor and stuff. And the brewing stand will make a cleric, one that we can sell run flesh to, which is perfect because of our dropper there. That'll give us a lot of emeralds. Composters because it's farmers, and well, farmers are cool. And cartography table because you can. Um, get a trade that gives you like a map that shows you like, for example, um, a roofed forest, one of those things called mansions, rooftop forest mansion thingies, I, I don't remember what they're called, but yeah, a mansion in the roof forest that you can find. So I, and I really want that. So getting a cartographer could be pretty cool. Now I want to place these. The compasses I want to place around the big farms. So if I place one down here, by this farm right here, eh. and then put some torches over here so it's actually lit, and then maybe another one over here. Hopefully that will make the villagers come over here and do stuff. And then we have the lectern and the brewing stand and the cartography table left. I know where I want to put the brewing stand. Um, I want that in here, right there, just to be safe, that he will actually use it. Um, do we have a library in here, by any chance? No. No, we do not. What would a fitting place be for a lectern? Oh, one of them is using it. Cool. I guess this could work as a cartography work area. <laughs> I guess, maybe. <laughs> Uh, no, actually, let us let let me take that back. You know what, I'm just putting it here. I don't care. I'm putting that there, and then I'm putting this in here. In here, because it's like a sitting study area, I guess, so put it right there. Right in front of the window. Also, these guys won't just take a job immediately. They will um, only accept jobs at a certain time of day, I'm pretty sure, so... Yeah. Okay, that was actually it. Now I just gotta wait for daytime. So while I do that, there's a lot of husks here that I wanna annihilate. That is a lot. Let me go and have fun with these guys and I'll see you 
again at um ow okay now now these guys are getting it getting it <laughs> okay see you at dawn and i'll be right back also a thing about these villagers they need to be in proximity of their workstation for them to be able to detect it so if they're not close enough well then they won't detect their their workstation so if they're all over there and we put a bunch of them over here they would not detect them which is of course not what we want so well, do I actually sleep in here? No? Okay. So, oh, wait, we got a farmer. We got a farmer. Yes, he's selling potatoes and beetroots. Now I have an excuse to actually be getting beetroots. I guess he's working in this farm plot. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Now what I would... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think we got a cartographer. Yes, we got a cartographer. Nice. That is paper for emeralds. Sweet. It's working slowly. Now, one method we can actually use to get one of these guys down here. Wait, where's the farmer? Weren't you a farmer a second ago? Where did he go? Where did the farmer go? Okay, that's... that's weird. But you know what? Okay. Ah, here he is. There's our farmer. That's good. He's... he's still here. He didn't just choose a job and then quit on the same day. That's good. Nice, so it is... it's working. <laughs> I was afraid that I wouldn't be doing something right, but um, I think that I got it right. Okay, I got just enough paper for our cartographer guy here. Let's give him a gift as a welcome to his new job. Nice. Now we need to get his experience bar here all the way up before he unlocks new trades. So that's gonna that's gonna take a while for me to do that. But hey, we got him now, and I can do some off-camera work over here and do stuff. Now one thing we might have to do is like get this for example this oh no this guy getting closer to that job over there and potentially making him into as I said <laughs> he's also selling potatoes and beetroots so same as this guy he just saw that guy's prices and selling buying things and then he was like you know what I don't actually know how to do this stuff but you know what that's, this works. I'll, I'll do the same as this guy. <laughs> uh, you know what? It works. Now what we could do to bring one of them closer would be to make a boat. For example, and get... Okay, where did my boat go? There we go. <laughs> there it is. Yep, there we go. And then get this guy. <laughs> Using the boat over to a work area aka the brewing stand and yeah that should work eh eh either the brewing stand or the lectern oh there we go i uh, don't want to use the sword eh so this guy yes he's the cleric nice that is exactly what i wanted a guy that I can sell rotten flesh to, and it's a nice number as well, 32. So that means I can just take a stack and, uh, oh, I don't have enough. <laughs> I can just take a stack and give it to him. Nice. Okay, where's the last guy? I want to direct him in his career. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, that's a, that's the cartographer guy. I, I was sure he was the normal villager before. Okay, never mind. Wait, two? Two? What? You can have two of them? What? Okay. That's... Mm, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted one of them to be a librarian. But I mean... Oh. He's making po oh yeah. <laughs> he's making potion stuff. Actually, get in the boat. Get in the boat. Thank you. I don't want you to have that job, my friend. I would like you to try and be a librarian. Hmm. Can I get these things upstairs? No. Well, I'm gonna stick that guy there. Oh dear. Yeah, I don't want to do that. 
You know what? I'm gonna leave that guy there and see what happens. <laughs> but hey, that's pretty good. We might not be getting a lot of trading doing going today, but we are now expanding the village. I will do some off-camera work, probably setting up some more homes for these guys. Maybe even adding some decorative stuff in there. I don't know. I'll try. Maybe. I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll do some stuff. Oh yes! A cat! A cat is spawning! Nice! Nice, 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 nice! Perfect, this village is growing. <laughs> we could tame that if we wanted. We could tame we could tame a cat if we wanted to. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Should we tame a cat? We could. We could try. Oh. Oh. Yes, they're they're breeding. They're breeding. Okay, let's uh let's go away. Um nice. Okay, that's very cool. Guys, I think we're done for this episode. Our mission was a success. These villages now have some jobs. And looks like the village is growing. They are doing their things and a cat even spawned, so that is very cool. And yeah, I think our job here is done for the day. I will do some off-camera work here. I'll try and get enough stuff for some trades and probably expand with some huts here and there for some of the villagers. Especially since more will be coming, most likely, as we just saw. So they will need a place to live. So I need, I need to get working here. Oh wait, another cat. Oh, it spawned outside. Oh no. Okay, I'll, I'll get that guy in. I'll get it in. Anyways guys, that's gonna do it for this one. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave it a like and share it with your friends and also subscribe if you haven't yet and enable those notifications to get notified when I upload and go live. Speaking of live, also you should go and follow me on Twitch um, as I do stream on there as well. So be sure to do that. Also check out my Twitter down below, link down below in the description. And also check out my Discord server, link down below as well. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.